At least two Israeli settlers have been injured in a shooting in Nablus in the occupied West Bank. They were shot inside their car near the Itamar settlement. One of them is reported to be in a critical condition and has been airlifted to hospital. The Israeli army has sealed off the area. And staying in the territory, a Palestinian man has been killed in an Israeli raid in a village in Hebron. The Israeli army has intensified its raids, killing at least 165 Palestinians across the occupied West Bank since the Hamas attack on Israel on October 7th. Let's cross to Zain Bazravi, who's live for us in Ramallah in the occupied West Bank. Zain, so let's talk first about these multiple Israeli raids across the West Bank. What have you been hearing there? Nablus, Ramallah, uh, Hebron, Bethlehem, uh, in areas all over the occupied West Bank, there were raids overnight. Jenin was a major flashpoint. Dozens of Israeli military vehicle carrying soldiers, armored bulldozers, made their way into Jenin, pulling up roads once again, destroying buildings and infrastructure. Another night of fear and terror for the residents of Jenin. There were armed clashes in the street. The Israelis used uh, what people described as an unmanned drone to carry out a strike. Luckily, no one was killed in that. And Palestinian fighters used explosives against Israeli military positions. In Hebron, in a, the village of Al Tabaka, a Palestinian man who was shot in the back and through the heart, a 29 year old, recently married, died of his wounds. And this morning, the Palestinian medical sources tell us that uh, yet another person who was injured in clashes in Bethlehem yesterday, succumbed to his wounds and died as well. An elderly man now bringing the total death toll since the war began in the occupied West Bank to 166. And we know now this morning, uh, usually these raids end once the sun comes up, but this morning in Ramallah, in the Al Amari refugee camp, just a few minutes from where we are now, we've been hearing explosions and sounds of gunfire. We know that special forces, Israeli special forces, have entered the Alamari refugee camp. They've surrounded the home of one resident, and an operation is ongoing. And by the sounds of it, things are getting violent here in Ramallah as well. And Zayn, what more do we know about this attack on Israeli settlers in Nablus? Yes, this attack that took place last night, an armed Palestinian man uh, attacked two settlers, injuring them severely. They had to be airlifted to a hospital in Tel Aviv. One Israeli settler is said to be in critical condition in this uh, occupied territory, the, the village in Nablus, east of Nablus. These villages were shut down. Now, these are illegal settlements, uh, but any time a settler is involved in this kind of attack, reprisals from the Israeli forces are swift and strong. Beit Farik, Akraba, villages in this area of Nablus have now been declared military zones. The Israeli military is controlling any entry and exit while they carry out a manhunt for the suspected Palestinian armed gunmen who carried out this attack. All right, Zain Bazrabi live for us there in Ramallah. Zain, thank you.